Well, Sean was, as a child, it's hard to say, but he was very normal. He was a normal boy, grew up very connected with nature. I did raise him a little bit as well because I lived with my sister together. Then we moved to Ireland. He went to school. It's hard to say. He was just a normal, happy boy. And he still is. What what happened with him is Sean was always really, really interested in, um, you know, in question, who is God? Like he was very interested into life and what's around the life, um, nature, and then later on, as he got older and became a teenager, they involved more into politic politic questions, you know, he was, yeah, he was just always interested what's going on and questioning things, and we would have family dinners, and he would always have us going as a big discussion around themes which are, would have been in this time in the media, and he loved having us thinking about things, and talking about and he would love all that kind of stuff it wasn't a surprise to us when he started studying politics and to his studies he got more and more interested in it because that was his work you know that were his studies he um it crystallized out that he was very interested into solving crises as well and i think when he was finished that was just that was just his line he wanted to do you know he he wanted to make um to help to change the world and that was his way that was his way to do it he saw himself doing it in that way you know he became a part of the diving rescue part in greece again he was first working in the camp and then he he started driving out he did um uh, also a skipper course he also did diving in ireland he um did a training in ireland and he that was his part then in greece in lesbos he would get out and get the people in for very very long um at least for three four weeks i um i could uh, my reaction was like I, I i didn't take it really serious because i always thought this is this is just a misunderstanding this is not this can't happen this is a big joke like sean out of all the people sean never he couldn't have done the things he was accused of it's only very slowly the penny dropped and i realized that this is actually serious and they really mean what they say. It took a while. I think the whole family was in the same boat with me. We just couldn't believe it. The march um, in Dublin was organized mainly by Sean's friend, Owen and Rowan, and also my sister. The plan was to meet in, in front of the Greek embassy, and there were just a call out made uh, to artists who would like to join and do a piece. And so we, we we drove there with an organized bus from Kerry, and um, we heard already when we were nearly in Dublin that there were already 30 people waiting and gathered. And then when we arrived, we just um, kicked off the whole thing. They had organized a speaker, and other people had organized banners. I think it was fantastic, yeah. We, we had first our program, what we wanted to do in um, in front of the embassy, and that was beautiful. It was very powerful. You know, the the speeches and the songs, they were very moving and powerful. Kind of two hours we were finished and then I thought it would be actually nice if we moved down the road because where the Greek embassy is um, placed in, in Dublin, it's it's rather quiet. And I had the feeling not really can see us, you know, we weren't noticeable. And so we started walking with all the drums and... Um, then there was Stephen Green, and I said, oh, why not? We just go to Stephen Green, and it was full. All the people saw us. Many people got up and filmed and made photos, and that was good. And then we went down there to Crafton Street. That was perfect. So actually, loads of people started joining us. By the time we reached the university, there were, I'd say, 200 people, 150 people. It was a big crowd. We also um, put a letter, which we all signed to the embassy, post box um, demanding the immediate release for Sean, Sarah and us. Um, next step is maybe planning for a, another one in November, I heard. Another protest if nothing happened. Um, we, we just have to keep going. It'll be a very slow process over in Greece. We don't think it'll be before March. Yeah, um, and until then, just keep going, just to let them know as well that we will make it public and that we will speak up for it and, you know, not accepting it.